We need to know in about 90 seconds. Know before you go. Well, we're watching the upper Midwest. Showers and thunderstorms this morning. Again, nothing severe, but we could see a few isolated thunderstorms pop to that severe category mm -hmm. in places like Chicago, Peoria, and then moving into Fort Wayne and uh, Indianapolis as we go towards the end of the day. We have to watch that area very closely because flash flooding could be an issue. It's already been an issue in parts of central Wisconsin, so it's something that we'll watch very carefully as we continue to move things forward. And it's not just that area, but the southeast as well could be getting soaked over the next couple of days, mainly the sunshine state of Florida. I mean, Jane, you look at South Florida, and if you had plans to, you know, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, you're looking at two to three inches of rain I over know. the next couple of days. It's going to be a tough go this weekend for the Sunshine State, but even places like coastal Carolinas, where we're going to see those thunderstorms continue to pop up. It is the southeast, some of which were you saying, well, it's very typical. It is, but between the sunshine, make sure we're watching that right on our Fox Weather app. And then the heat, well, mm. it's a big story that continues to linger on. Triple digits, high pressure, it's strengthening across the west, and with that, it's going to lift all the way up into the central plains. So places that have been hot are only going to get hotter, like Colby and Dodge City, 108 degrees for the day today. Yeah, they could probably give some advice to the folks in uh, Europe with the heat that they're going to be Absolutely. experiencing here. Yeah, because by the time we get into the weekend, Dodge City, as you said, 107 degrees is what we're anticipating. These are not heat indices. These are actual air temperatures. Dallas, Fort Worth at over 100 degrees. So it is just going to be a really warm Go. Coast as that system moves into places like Ohio Valley down into the southeast, bringing back the risk for thunderstorms that will track into the east coast on Thursday. But as you noticed on the west coast, a beautiful stretch of weather from Seattle down to Los Angeles, where that high pressure brings in sunshine and temperatures in the 70s and 80s. But the heat, Michael, well, that's not going anywhere. Triple no. digits. Oh my. Moving into Chicago later on this afternoon and eventually affecting our friends in Fort Wayne and Cleveland overnight tonight into early tomorrow. That's right. Now, and unfortunately, this cold front, you know, you typically think, oh, it's going to cool down behind right. it. It's not. not so it's much. summer. It's going to stay so hot. Much. But definitely be very mindful. Keep those Fox weather alerts turned on. While the severe weather risk is very isolated, mm -hmm. we still could see some damaging winds and we could still see the potential of that torrential rain, yeah. which brings in some isolated flash flooding. That's exactly it. I think the flooding could be the biggest threat there. And note that over the next couple of days, especially along the Gulf Coast into the uh, sunshine state of Florida, not so much living up to its name here with upwards of two to three inches of rain possible in a couple of pockets right around not only the Panhandle, but also in parts of South Florida too. I know, and it's going to be that upper level low that we were just talking about spinning off the coast of Florida that's going to bring in that threat for those thunderstorms all the way through the weekend. Mm -hmm. And here's a look at the heat. Well, it's been the ongoing story this summer, and it's really turning up triple digits, spreading north out of Texas, which has really held the brunt of it, but places like Tulsa, Colby, Kansas City breaking into the triple digits Oh my today. goodness. Yeah, we are sweating it out in places like Amarillo, Tulsa, later on today at 103 degrees. Like, don't get me wrong, Jane, I understand, like, it's hot and it's a dry heat, but it's still really warm, though. It certainly is. Well, we've got much more coming up on Fox for the Sunrise. Here's your forecast across the